how to install Ion Cube on your GoDaddy hosting account. If you're an affiliate marketer making websites, especially if you're using WordPress, you probably run into this problem eventually. If there's some kind of software plugin you want to use and you get an error about Ion Cube, well, now's the time to get it installed. So here's how you do it go to GoDaddy and then go down to the help section, help and guides. Click on that. Type in Ion Cube. And there's a couple of different articles you'll need to check out. Well, this, this works for a shared hosting account, so just click on that. And then you're also going to have to get Zen Optimizer working too. So this will mention Zen Optimizer. Just open that in another window or tab. And uh, go to your hosting account. Um, basically there's two things you need to do. You need to edit your PHP file in your root directory and you need to upload the IonCube loader files in its own IonCube folder on your root directory. And your PHP file will point to your IonCube folder. Make sure that they're both installed in your root directory. One thing that confused me is I thought I had to put them in my uh, website folder for the website I wanted to do, but they, they both have to be in your root, and then it'll work for any of your websites. And then, okay, so you'll need your FTP manager. Um, first, take note of your absolute hosting path, because this is what you'll need um, to reference your files and stuff so just copy that and then go to FTP alright so I'm in my root directory and I already have IonCube set up and everything so here's my IonCube folder um, and regardless of whether you have multiple domains or not, you want IonCube installed in your root directory. So um, you're going to have a folder. You can make a new folder because you won't see this yet. So make a new folder. Um, or create a new directory. And you'll just type in IonCube. hit OK. So that'll make your folder. Now you need to um, get your PHP file. So um, you'll probably already have a PHP file in your directory. You'll, got, you'll probably have to go over a couple pages or so to see it. Okay, there it is. Most likely it'll be there already. If it's not, you're going to open up Notepad and then you know you'll be typing your text and you'll just save it as php5.ini just save that to your desktop for now but if you already have the PHP file then just click your box and hit edit but I'll come back to that in a second. We need to know what to put in there. So I'll go back to the help article. With Zend Optimizer, you need Zend Optimizer in order to do IonCube. So just copy this text here. And this is straight from the, uh, the help article. Copy that. Um, the text might be different if it's been updated after this video. So go to the uh, help article first, and then for the purposes of this uh, video, I'm just going to start a new one. So, so that's the uh, Zen Optimizer code. 
Now make a space there. Now we need to put in the ion cube code. So here's the ion cube help article. And um, by default, you'll be using PHP 5. And your Zen, op, uh, your Zen extension is going to be um, referencing ion cube loader 5.2. If you're using PHP 5, so most likely this is the case. So you'll copy this, we already have the Zen callout right there. So just paste that. Now change this to 5.2. Make sure you got it pasted on a new line, and make sure the ion cube line is the first one. So basically that's all you're going to need um, in your PHP file. If you already had one then you'll probably have a lot of other text like callouts and parameters and stuff. But um, you should be fine if you just paste the code at the top like I did. I just pasted it up here. That to that. Um, and then save it, you'll probably be fine. So um, the other thing to keep in mind is make sure that this is referencing your uh, root directory. So make sure this is right here. Make sure that's the same. So it's going to be probably slash home slash content slash some number. This will be different for everyone. Slash HTML, and then this is all going to be the same. So most likely, you're only going to have to change this and maybe that if you have it set up different. But basically, just make sure that line's right. Copy this from the Zen Optimizer help guide save your PHP file and then you gotta get the ion cube loader files from the ion cube website you can either search for ion cube or get the files directly from the GoDaddy uh, help file so they're gonna show a bunch of them You'll probably need, if you're using, you should be using a Linux uh, hosting account. If it's a typical GoDaddy shared hosting account, you'll be getting this one. So just get the zip file. Save it. Uh, extract it to your desktop. And then now you have the Ion Cube loader files. And uh, you're going to be using this file to activate or to actually install Ion Cube once you get it set up, set up properly. But anyway, now you just upload all these files into your Ion Cube folder. Again, make sure the ion cube folder is in your root directory. So click on that. See, I got them uploaded already. If you don't, just uh, say upload. Find the folder. And like select all the files. And so then it'll add them all to the queue. And then you upload it. And once you do that, you should be good to go. Got your Ion Cube 
loader files installed in your ion cube folder and that's in your root directory and then you also have your PHP 5 file with the appropriate um, text and then you're going to actually go to install or activate ion cube so if you got it done right put in your domain here http colon slash slash your domain and then type slash ion cube slash loader dash wizard dot php and then you hit enter to load the web address in the browser and it'll say that it's installing ion cube hopefully it'll be successful if it gives you an error message take a close look most likely you messed up the path in your PHP 5 file but I hope this video helped you out and have an awesome day